Are you tired of all the YouTube tutorials on photography based on Lightroom and Photoshop that cost a lot of money? Well, stick around, I'm gonna be showing you a great alternative that is free. The software we're talking about is Capture One by Face One and is available both for Windows and your Mac OS environment. This is a free photo editing software that is very similar to Lightroom as in the fact that it does organize your pictures well by dates, by names, by anything you want. I mean, it's endless the things you can do to organize your photos, but also the editing power that is behind this software is amazing. I'm only gonna highlight a few of the things that I really use a lot and that are very easy to use as well that you would actually use on a very advanced editing software. Once opening up the software for the first time, you're greeted with an import window. And in here, again, you can start seeing the customization, how it's gonna be awesome. Uh, on the left side, you have your import source and then where your destination you're gonna import to. For example, you could name your job if it's gonna be a specific job that you're working on, as well as uh, any picture information you wanna add. And the cool thing is they even have an adjustments tab. So if you have a style that you have preset made and you could automatically have all those adjustments put onto the files when they are actually being imported to the software, which is really cool. Once imported, all your pictures can be organized by dates or specific folders for specific jobs that you may have. But of course, on this review, we're just gonna be focusing on all the different things that we could do in this free software. And later on, on future videos, I will be going with more of a kind of a tutorial kind of video where I show you how to do things more specifically and detail. So let's get to it. So next to that folder icon you have there for your libraries is the Q, which stands for the quick adjustment settings. And in here you find a lot of basic adjustments that you do on a more of a, uh, just a run and gun and shoot kind of adjustment kind of things. You have all your preset styles in there, which is, I, I gotta do a whole video on this cause it's really awesome. I love their preset styles. And also you have other adjustments such as the white balance, the exposure, high dynamic range, which controls your highlights and your shadows. And then you have the clarity, which which adds a little kick to your picture, adding sharpness. Now on the following settings tab, we have what looks like a lens. And yes, this is all your lens corrections that you could do, such as your distortion, sharpness, your light fall off, purple fringing, vignetting, rotating, flipping, and cropping. It's just awesome that you have all these adjustments available on a free editing software. Now in the colors column, we have access and control over individual colors and each color we can control the hue, saturation and lightness. And actually this is a feature that Lightroom has that a lot of people use to do specific and really add a style to their pictures. And on this free software, we have that available as well, which is really awesome. We can individually add a, a control the hue, the saturation and lightness, and even the smoothness in individual colors. Now let's see that we got the exposure column that we can control the light and well, basically the exposure of your whole picture. So we have various ways to control that exposure by using the levels or the curves or just individually each feature such as the exposure, the contrast and brightness. After that, we got the details tab, which actually is labeled with a magnifying glass because yes, we could get all the sharpening details done here, the clarity, but also you can do picture manipulation such as noise reduction and even spot or dust removal, which works really well. And that's about it. At the end, you get, you have your information tab that has all the data stored from your camera, whether it's from the picture or even the lens information, it's all recorded here. Once you're finishing editing your pictures, you could just go up to the top right corner of the window and you have an up arrow that is to export all the variants or edit the pictures that you have selected. Pick the location where you're gonna place all your edited pictures and you can even control the quality of your exports. And I usually like to keep mine in the 90s or high 80s, which is really good enough. You don't lose any quality at all whatsoever. And that's the best thing about this software. It works so sweetly with all your Sony raw files and can export them into JPEGs that look like raw pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and a quick preview of the Capture One software by Phase One that is built specifically for Sony cameras out there. 
So all you Sony users, you got to check this software out and best of all, it's free. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.